Hello everybody, today we will recreate some street food, namely three dishes from different countries. Let's do this. The first street food we have is from Korea. There they mix a very strange set of foods together with each other, almost like a potato salad. All this is used as the filling for a sandwich, after which it is breaded and deep fried. That way they get a crispy sandwich. Well, let's make this for ourselves. You need quite a lot of products for the filling. Namely, corn, peas, potatoes, chicken eggs, carrots, onions, sausage, sesame seeds, and mayonnaise. So we take a saucepan, toss a carrot into it, and potatoes. Fill it up with water, and put it on the stove. All this has been cooking for 15 minutes, so that means it is time to toss in some chicken eggs. In the meantime, take an onion and chop it really finely. Done. Now we toss it into a large bowl. Now for the boiled sausage. We open it up from the film. And we cut the whole stick in first into thick strips. And then into cubes. And then toss them into the bowl. We open up the canned food, specifically the corn and the peas. Pour them into the bowl together. Peel the boiled potatoes. And cut into random pieces, because regardless it'll be turned into mashed potatoes. Peel the carrot. And dice into cubes. Peel the eggs. and just finely chop. <laughs> Sprinkle in some sesame seeds and squeeze out some mayonnaise. Pepper all this and salt it. And mix well until smooth. That's it, our filling is ready. Now we need some American white bread for the toast. We lay out two packages on the table. After that, we spread the filling on half of the slices of bread. Then we assemble our sandwiches. Done. Now we take two bowls. We throw breadcrumbs into one, and into the second one we crack four eggs. Pour in some milk. Stir it with a whisk. Add some flour. And mix again, and that's it. Before we fry up all the sandwiches, we need to prepare the fryer. We'll be doing this outside. We put some firewood into the oven. And with the help of a gas burner, we kindle all this. When the fire has flared up, we put a cauldron on top. And pour 10 liters of oil into it. While it is warming up, you need to bread the sandwiches. To do this, dip them in batter. And then roll them in breadcrumbs. We take all this outside and lower it into the hot oil. After a minute, they need to be turned over so that the sandwiches are browned on both sides. Then 
That's it, we take them out of the deep fryer. And we spread them out on paper towels so that the excess grease sops up. Our Korean street food homemade sandwiches are ready. Let's try them. Honestly, I thought the flavor would be off-putting, but it turned out pretty normal. It's just a super crunchy sandwich with an unusual filling inside. The next dish is also gonna be from Korea. They make unusual pizza there, and it is unusual in the sense that they have large waffles instead of a crust. Let's recreate this pizza. We'll make a cheese waffle. For the dough, measure out 125 milliliters of milk and pour it into a bowl. Then crack in one egg, a little bit of pepper and salt. Then mix this well with a whisk. After that, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, 170 grams of flour, and we mix all this up until we're left with a nice and even dough. Now grate some suliguni cheese on a coarse grater. We throw this into the dough and mix it for the last time. We take out our waffle iron. We have a slightly different shape than the one on which they prepare their waffles in Korea, but nevertheless, we throw the dough right onto it. We spread it around with a spoon and close it up. And after two minutes, the waffle is ready. We take it out of the waffle iron and cut off the uneven edges with scissors. Our pizza waffle dough is ready. Now we'll pull some ketchup all over it. We grate a mountain of cheddar cheese right on top. And then spread out our sausage. And into the oven. Then we're left with a beautiful pizza here. We'll cut it into slices. And let's test it out. It is very tasty. And because of the cheese waffle, the taste of pizza is as saturated as possible. If you have a waffle iron at home, then it's worth trying this recipe. And perhaps everyone knows that the last of our street food for today, this is the churchella, which is a very sweet and tasty Jordan treat. But its preparation, we need nuts. We bought two different kinds, hazelnuts and walnuts. They are not so tasty and fragrant in their raw form. Therefore, we send them into a frying pan and fry them up. Done. Now our kitchen is filled with a nutty aroma. We need a thread and a needle. We thread the needle. And at the other end, we tighten the knot. We take a hazelnut and pierce it with a needle. That way it hangs on a string. We're left with these nut beads. We tighten the knot on the other side as well. We do the same with walnuts. We were able to do quite a lot. In fact, the work is painstaking and it all took an hour and a half. Now we take some real pomegranate juice, we open it up and pour out half a liter into a saucepan. We also throw in 150 grams of flour and this will work as a thickener. We stir it up, add another half liter of juice and mix again. We toss this onto the stove. And stirring occasionally, evaporate until thickened. We well, should have a mass left like this. After it cools down, we dip our walnut beads into it. And then leave them to dry for a bit. We let them dry for a little bit. And after 10 minutes, we dip it again so that the glaze layer gets a little thicker. We put a grid for the oven on a slope and we tie the churchella to it. This usually dries on its own within a week, but this process can be accelerated by up to two hours. Just put it in the oven at 50 degrees and turn on the convection. That's it, after two hours, the churchella is ready. The one made with walnuts is twice as thick. Well, let's try them. 
first with hazelnuts, and it is freaking delicious. It's got a slightly sweet glaze with nuts inside. But I liked the walnuts one much more. The glaze is thicker and softer, and the nuts themselves are easier to bite into. If you would like to continue seeing videos like this, then like this video. And as soon as there are 300,000 likes, we will shoot the next part. Also, subscribe to the channel and share this video with all of your friends. Bye, everybody!